Happy April 5th, a.k.a. Josh Duggar's original sentencing hearing. It was supposed to be today. My plans for today originally consisted of putting on a suit, going to the federal courthouse in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and watching as Josh Duggar's fate got handed down to him. But of course, things change. As you all know, his sentencing has been rescheduled for May 25th, 2022. And one thing about today was that I am very invested in a particular case out of Arkansas, like 15 plus years invested in a case out of Arkansas. And there was an event scheduled tonight from 7 to 9, and it is being hosted by one of the people involved in this case. So I knew Josh Duggar's sentencing was April 5th, And I knew I was going to have to get up early and go to the courthouse and be there for a while. But I still got two tickets to this event. And I essentially I planned on going to the courthouse, hearing sentencing, getting in the car, driving several hours to attend this event from seven to nine, and then getting in the car and driving several hours back home. But this case is that important to me. And that's why I was willing to do that. But before we get into that, We need to do a fact check. We need to do a correction for some misinformation that I'm seeing online. I am seeing a lot of things online and hearing a lot of things online about how Josh Duggar got some grand extension on sentencing, how he got some special treatment and like got this extra long sentencing. Make it make sense. I I don't even know like why that got started. But let's clear it up. Josh Duggar's original sentencing date was, of course, today, like right now while I'm filming this. And it got moved from April 5th, 2022 to May 25th, 2022. That is 36 days. And some of you might be thinking that makes no sense because, you know, April 5th, the defense asked for a month. It should be May 5th. Y'all. They only count Monday through Friday because they can only hold court Monday through Friday. So if you pull up a calendar for April and you circle the 5th and then you pull up a calendar for May and you circle the 25th and you count Monday through Friday from April 5th to May 25th, it's 36 days. Because again, you're not going to hold court on Saturday or Sunday or on a holiday. So Josh Duggar did not get some grand extension for sentencing. He did not get any special treatment. One, they normally grant these types of extensions. It's not a big deal. And two, it's a 36-day extension. I don't know why everyone started reporting that he got this grand extension. I thought that was like common. I, Anyways. So no, Josh Duggar did not get some grand extension on his sentencing hearing. He got a 36-day extension. And to state the obvious, they also have more cases in that courthouse, which means they have more cases scheduled that they also, I'm sure, had to work around. He got a 36-day extension. Let's stop saying that he got something grand. He didn't. But back to what I was saying. So I had planned to attend the sentencing hearing and then drive several hours to attend this event. Now, what this event is, is the Saline County Library is having an event tonight from 7 to 9 with Mara Leverett and Jason Baldwin. If you do not know anything about them, Mara Leverett is an author and Jason Baldwin is someone who was wrongly convicted for a crime in Arkansas and spent a long time in prison for a crime that he did not commit, along with two other people. So if you don't know anything about the West Memphis 3 case, it is obviously out of West Memphis, Arkansas. So if you're following the Duggar case, that's going to be Northeast Arkansas, fold the state in half, that's going to be West Memphis. It's the complete opposite corner of the state from the Josh Duggar trial. But... In 1993, there was a triple homicide 
triple murder of three young boys out of West Memphis, Arkansas. And three teenagers were arrested and wrongly convicted for the murders. And spoiler alert, because you know I'm seeing one tonight, they eventually did get out of prison, but it was a long journey, a long journey. And it's 2022, and they're still going to court over evidence issues in this case. Now, the West Memphis 3 case, like I said, is a case that I am 15 plus years invested in. I am very passionate about the West Memphis 3 case. I'm a huge supporter of the West Memphis 3. It blows my mind that some people even think they're still guilty, but there's also people out there that still think the Ramseys killed John Bonet, and we really just can't with that. We can't with that, but I digress. So, The West Memphis 3 case is a case that we will for sure be covering on this channel because like I said, it's a case that I am extremely passionate about. So we will be deep diving into the West Memphis 3 case on here. And that being said, if you are interested in that or you want to follow along with that, or maybe you already know what the West Memphis 3 case is and you're just interested in that in general, the Salem County Library is having that event tonight, April 5th, from 7 to 9, and I believe it is going to be live streamed. So if you guys want to watch it, you can watch the live stream for that event from 7 to 9. I will obviously be tied up and very invested between the hours of 7 and 9 tonight in hearing what Mara Leverett and Jason Baldwin have to say. So again, I encourage you all to watch that because that's a case that is a very important case, not just for Arkansas. I mean, that's another case that made national news like the Duggar case and worldwide news like the Duggar case. But it's a case that we all need to be invested in because it's a very, very, very important case about very, very, very important issues, and three innocent teens spent a long time in prison for a crime that they did not commit. And like I said, we will get into that later, but I just wanted to tell you all, happy April 5th, happy what should have been the Duggar sentencing date, and let you all know that, of course, Duggar did not get this long sentencing that's going around on the internet. Again, I'm not sure why that occurred, but it is. So I wanted to correct that. And I wanted to tell you all, if you're interested in learning about the West Memphis 3 case that we will for sure be diving into to tune in to the event tonight from 7 to 9 that I believe will be live streamed by the library. And so, yeah, that's my April 5th check-in and I will see you guys later.